I've never been a believer in the death penalty, so it was like I never wanted him to be executed, but not because of who he was, but just because I don't believe in the death penalty. I guess I went numb. I just couldn't really think about it. My daughter and I spent the day together. Uh, we went to visit a friend up in La Conner and um, just tried not to to tune in to what was going on. I found the crowds outside the prison. I, f I mean, it just was really bizarre to me. They'd be out there cheering. Yeah. We got them. <laughs> it's over. I mean, it's great. We heard it on the news. We heard everything about it. And I remember saying to my dad, it's like gonna be a good night tonight. I did, I felt that. I said a great prayer to George. It's over, baby. <laughs> You bet. It was a good night. I felt real good about it. Yep. He had to be stopped, and that was the only way. But it was hard for us. Yeah, there's always a flip side, isn't there? There's another mother, another family. And the death penalty is controversial in our hearts. It's not as clear cut as people think. And when you saw the circus outside the courthouse, that wasn't us. We never, that's nothing to celebrate. No, no. this is another loss of life. Another then, mother it, losing another a mother, child, another family. Another with family tragedy. trying to reckon with a horrific event. Vivian Rancourt joined the program. As, as Her daughter, Susan, was killed by Bundy back in 1974. And, and Mrs. Rancourt was asked if she had any words for Mrs. Bundy. First of all, uh, we send hugs to her, too. I talked to her on the phone the day after the execution. Well, I, I've said it before, and I'm glad to be able to say it directly to one of the moms. We don't know why this happened. And we feel so desperately sorry for you. We didn't want our son to do these things. We have two beautiful daughters of our own and we know how we would feel. I am sorry. I know you are. And we don't hold any resentment or hatred towards you or your family. It was just two mothers that had lost a child. She didn't have to apologize. She didn't do this. Her son was sick. You should know that the men in our family did not feel like we did. I wanna be honest about that. My dad, he wanted to slash his balls off. I mean, my dad was very clear about what he would do to Ted Bundy if he was left alone with him for a moment. My husband too would have just kicked him from here to hell and back. No, the men didn't exactly feel the way we did. I wrote a letter to Vivian Winter and said how I agonized over her daughter's death and all these deaths for my whole life and how sorry I was that this had happened. And she wrote me this beautiful letter and she said that she felt that, yes, it was... Uh, an experience that's hard to describe how devastating it actually is to have your child murdered. But at the same time as the years passed, she did not want him to take her whole life away from her. By allowing her to remain in sadness, she wanted to go forward and be happy. And she was feeling happiness. And she was making a life for herself that was not controlled by Ted Bundy. And I so much admired and respected that. And I took it on. This is what I want. We're not going to let him continue to perpetuate misery. We're going to live our lives. <laughs> 